Have you ever had the blue plate special at a diner? Was it even served on a blue plate? Well, it's something from the Depression era that became a tradition in diners and other restaurants, and it's something you'll still see today when you walk into a roadside diner and see a sign announcing the blue plate special for the day. So the blue plate special refers to any large and hearty, inexpensive plated lunch or dinner with generous servings and usually a main dish with meat, three or four vegetables, bread, and a drink. So think of something like a big slab of meatloaf, mashed potatoes, gravy, green beans, a roll, and maybe a big iced tea to drink. Today's blue plate specials will probably be served on a standard white restaurant plate, but the blue at one time referred to an actual plate, which was a thick china plate done in the very popular blue china pattern or blue willow pattern, which had compartments to separate the main dish from the sides. And this dish was actually called a grill plate, and it was used so often it came to be synonymous with the large and cheap diner meal. This blue willow china pattern was produced by pretty much any china company around because from the early 1920s until after World War II, numerous china makers were making heavy porcelain plates specifically for use in restaurants. Uh, the patterns on the plates may not have always been exactly the same, but they were all based on the same blue willow motif. The common characteristics you'll find on these plates patterns are a pagoda, three willows, a fence, and a bridge with three people running across it. There are also two birds flying above the scene. There's a story behind this pattern. The three figures running across the bridge are two lovers being chased by either the girl's father or a wealthy old man to whom the girl's hand in marriage had been promised. Now, the two lovers were captured and imprisoned in the pagoda and then they became lost in the maze underneath the pagoda and died. But their love is so great that in death they are transformed into birds and fly away. And these are the two birds you see flying in the scene above. Although the story is Chinese, the pattern is actually English in origin. It was first designed and engraved in 1780 by an artist named Thomas Minton who then sold it to a potter named Thomas Turner. And Turner mass-produced the pattern on porcelain for the economy market. It then became the most popular china pattern in the world. Uh, it was subsequently imitated by many pottery makers and it became available in the U.S. in the early 1900s and sold widely during the Depression era. And you could even get it through such catalogs as Sears and Woolworths. The blue china pattern products of the time were in a way blue collar china. You may see solid blue divided plates being referenced as blue plate special plates and some sources on the net uh, erroneously I think state that the term derives from a sturdy special plate that was manufactured during the depression era with special divided compartments. These sources claim that only the color blue was available which is silly and that some manufacturer and which is never named made the inexpensive blue plates for the restaurant trade but this is not likely to be historically accurate as the blue willow pattern is reported to have been extensively used during this period. Uh, the solid blue divided plates were probably made after the blue plate special was already popular. Um, some diners today will serve their blue plate special on a solid blue color divided plate or at least a plate with blue in it, uh, presumably in an effort to be retro or, or historically accurate. <laughs>